So I'm going to do a couple of problems from the area perimeter volume packet that involve working backwards. These were questions that many of you circled, um, sort of letting me know that this was something you wanted some extra, extra help with. So we'll try a couple of these. For all of the problems, I'm going to be following a similar format. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is to draw a picture or a diagram and after that draw a diagram and label it with all the information that I'm given and then I'm going to choose a formula and fill in all the info that they're giving me. Second step is going to be to solve this formula which now is going to look like an equation for the missing variable. So solve the equation and I'm putting in parentheses solve the formula. You'll see that when we fill in um, the information that we're given into the formulas it turns into basically a solving for x problem. We'll start off with the first page of the mixed area perimeter practice and take a look at number five which is down towards the bottom and number five says find the height of a trapezoid with an area of 34 meters squared, a base of 8 meters, and another base of 8.5 meters. So I always start off by drawing a diagram if they don't give me one. And then putting all the information that I'm given in the problem onto the diagram. So there's my trapezoid. I'm being asked to find the height. So that means I'm looking for the altitude. I'll give it a variable. I'll call it h. They tell me that the area is 34 meters squared, so all the space inside the trapezoid is 34 meters squared. One of the bases is 8 meters, and the second base is 8.5 meters. One of the things that I usually do at this point is just double check my units to make sure I don't have to do any converting. My area is given in meters squared and the two dimensions that I'm given are also given in meters. So I don't need to do any converting in this case. So my diagram's all set. Now I need to choose a formula. I'm going to use area equals the sum of the bases. So base one plus base two. Add those together. Multiply it by the height, the altitude. Remember that altitude and height are the same thing. And then divide that product, all that stuff, by 2. So there's the formula. I've got my diagram, I've got my formula, and now I'm going to fill in the information that they're giving me in the problem into the formula. So let's see. The height of the trapezoid, that's h. So that's that piece. The area is 34 that where the area is, that's that piece. The base is 8 and the second base is 8.5. So now I've taken all the info from the problem, filled it into the formula. I'm going to rewrite this formula so you can see what I was talking about before. It looks like an equation. 34 equals 8 plus 8.5 h divided by 2. So I'm just taking the variable h and all those numbers and rewriting them. And then I've got a couple of options. I could either solve for h by multiplying both sides by 2 and then dividing out the 8 plus 8.5, but I think I'm going to do it in one step instead. I'm going to take all of those numbers, 8 plus 8.5 dividing by 2. They're really the coefficient of h and I'm going to combine them. So 8 plus 8.5 is 16 and a half, 16.5. And then divide that by 2. The result is 
You can check that on your calculator if you'd like. So all that stuff in yellow has now become 8.25. It's still being multiplied by H. Still equals 34. I'll solve for H by dividing both sides by 8.25. And if you put that in your calculator, you're going to see it comes out to be a repeating decimal, 4.12 repeating. In the problem, it doesn't suggest where I should round to, so I'm going to make an executive decision here and round to the nearest tenth, 4.1. Last step is to attach units to the answer. And it's another distance, so it will be meters. Not meters squared. Meters squared would, it would mean that I was describing an area, but 4.1 describes the distance between the two bases. So it's single units, 4.1 meters. Let's take a look at the second page, um, number 8. This is another working backwards problem. Let me zoom in a bit here. Here we're looking at a circle. The area of the circle is 25 pi meter, millimeter squared. Find the radius and the diameter. So same approach. I'll start by drawing a diagram. Here's my circle. I'm looking for the radius, and I could either put in the radius or the diameter, but because I'm starting with an area formula, and I know area is pi r squared, I'm going to use the radius as um, the dimension I've put on my picture. I need to pick a variable for the radius because they don't give me a number. I'll choose r. And that's basically everything that I'm given. I'm told the area is 25 pi, but there's not a convenient place to put that onto the diagram. So I'll wait to plug that into the formula. Here's the formula that I'll use. Area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. Plug in the information that they're giving me. The area is 25 pi. There's that. The radius, I'm choosing R, and I'll wait to figure out the diameter second. Let's take a look at that equation. 25 pi equals pi times the radius squared. Notice that both sides of the equation have pi, so I could just divide out pi on both sides, basically cancel out the pi on the left and on the right. And now I'm left with 25 on the left and R squared on the right. Don't divide by 2, you want to take the square root. Square root is the inverse operation of squaring. So the square root of 25 and the square root of r squared will give us r equals 5. So there's my radius. Now I need to find the diameter. Diameter is going to be twice that. So the diameter is going all the way across the circle. One radius plus another radius or 2 times the radii, 10 would be the diameter. One last step, I'll make sure we're including units. So the radius is 5 millimeters and the diameter is 10 millimeters. Once again, they're single units because I'm talking about a distance, the distance across the circle. Square units would be the space, the area inside the circle. Alrighty, last problem working backwards. It's on the very last page of that packet. Number 12 says find the base of a parallelogram whose height is 3 radical 5 meters and whose area is 35 meters squared. So still same problem, same process. Draw the diagram first. Here's my parallelogram. The height I'm going to put on the outside, but you could put it on the inside. Height is 3 radical 5 meters. I'm looking for the base, so I'll need a variable for that. I'll choose B for the base. And I'm given the area. Area is 35 meters squared. Got the diagram. Now the formula. Area of a parallelogram equals the base times the height or the altitude. 
there's the formula. Fill in the info I'm given. They give me the area, that's 35. Check. They don't give me the base, I chose the variable d to represent the base, and they give me the height, 3 radical 5. Check. So let's rewrite this. 35 equals b radical 3, oops, sorry, 3 radical 5. To get b by itself, I need to divide both sides by 3 radical 5. And now I want to make a decision. Do I simplify? Do I find a decimal and approximate? So I'm going to look at the instructions and see what it says. It says, find the area of each of the following figures. Express your answer in simplest form. So that means I need to leave the square roots, the radicals, in my answer. All right, let me put what I got over here. The base equals 35 divided by 3 radical 5. It's definitely not in simplest form yet because I have a radical in the denominator. So let's rationalize. Multiply the bottom and the top by radical 5. Now on the top I have 35 radical 5. And on the bottom I have 3 times 5 or 15. So those 5's are going to become a pair. They cancel the radical symbol out. I'm left with just the radicand 5. 3 times 5 is 15. And let's see, 35 and 15, those are both coefficients. I could divide out a 5 from both of them. So I'm going to divide out 5 from the top and the bottom. 5 goes into 35 7 times. 5 goes into 15 3 times. And I still have that radical 5. And one last thing, let's look for units. Units are meters. So there's my answer. The base equals 7 radical 5 divided by 3 meters.